All right, this video is about circles. Um, an introductory video, we're going to talk about uh, some of the uh, key components of a circle and then we're going to figure out how we can find the circumference, um, which we'll learn about in a second. Okay? So, um, as you can see, we've got a circle drawn with a dot in the middle. Oh, you'll have to excuse the uh, rough edges on the circle. Um, my hand must not have been very steady, but we've got a circle here and I want to label for you a few parts. So, from the center of the circle, if we drew a straight line out to the outside, meaning we've got half of the distance across the circle, that term has a special uh, name, and that name is the radius. Okay, so the radius is halfway across the circle, or another way of thinking of it is from the center of the circle out to the actual circle. Okay, that's one important uh, term. The next important term is if we took the radius, I'll draw another radius there, and we extended it as a straight line all the way through, so now we've got a straight line all the way across the circle that goes through the center of the circle that also has a special name and that name is the diameter no, diameter okay so there's obviously then a relationship between the diameter and the radius which is important to remember that relationship can be Put in this equation, the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. Okay, so for example, if the radius of this circle here was, say, 2 centimeters, we could determine that's uh, what the diameter is. So we could simply go to this equation and type it in here, fill it in 2 times two centimeters the diameter is therefore equal to four centimeters okay so pretty straightforward that relationship between the two is very important okay we've got one more thing that we want to note about circles on this slide before we go to the next and that is the distance all the way around a circle so if you took a piece of string and wrapped it nicely around. The length of that string is called the circumference. Okay, now the circumference um, is a little bit more challenging where that comes from, or where the formula, or where uh, we figure out how to find that uh, circumference comes from. So I'll show that on the next slide. So the relationship that um, mathematicians started to observe um, as they looked at circles, the relationship between the circumference, which we said is the distance around the circle, and the diameter, which is the distance across a circle, any size circle they found, there was always a, a similar number that uh, kept coming up. Actually, not a similar number, the exact same number um, when they compared those two things. So uh, they set up a relationship that, that said that circumference is equal to the diameter, the diameter times this number that kept coming up. That number was... Um, a number that we now call pi. Okay, so that is a, a symbol for the Greek letter pi. Um, and we use that number to represent a number that goes on forever. So instead of writing forever, because we couldn't do that, um, we shorten it. This dot 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 means the number keeps going on without repeating. Um, and it goes on uh, forever, and so we shorten it, or we, we simplify it by writing this symbol here, um, pi. Okay? Uh, so the value that we can use at our level uh, for it, when we, when we need a value, we can round it to 3.14. Okay? 
So um, that relationship kept coming up. And so we've got a formula that allows us to, if we have the diameter of a circle, um, we can come up with the circumference very simply by just multiplying by this value of pi. Or we can also do it, if we know the distance around, we could come up with uh, the value of the diameter. So we're going to show an example of each of those. Okay, so for example, if I was uh, told that a circle has a um, diameter of one meter, okay, and the question maybe asks me to determine what the circumference is, I could do that by using this formula. So circumference is equal to pi times diameter. Okay, so very simply I'm just going to plug in what I know and that is the diameter. So pi times one meter. Okay, so we could simplify by saying one pi and the units for that are meter. Now um, some people are a little more uncomfortable with uh, keeping pi in there so we said that we can round and at this level that's fine. We can round and say instead of pi we can go 1 times 3.14 which is just 3.14 okay, meters. So if you had a circle that had a diameter of 1 meter across you could um, calculate that the circumference, so the distance around the circle, would be equal to 3.14 meters. Pretty straightforward? Okay, let's complicate it just a little bit. Okay, now we've got, we are given that radius is equal to 2 centimeters. And we are asked to find what the circumference is. Uh-oh, we don't have a formula that lets us come up with that. But we do know that there is a formula for circumference and we've used that formula. Circumference is equal to pi times d. Okay, uh, The diameter we know has something to do with the radius. If we remember back, the relationship between the radius and the diameter is uh, the radius is halfway across the circle, the diameter is all the way across, so we said that diameter is equal to 2 times r. So we'll quickly do a side calculation to determine what the diameter is. 2 times 2 centimeters, meaning the diameter is equal to 2 times 2, 4 centimeters. Now that we know that, we can go back over here and we can plug it in. Circumference is equal to, we'll insert the value of 3.14 okay, times the diameter of 4 centimeters. Okay, so we're going to do some multiplication on the side here. 3.14 times 4. Okay. 4, carry the 1, 1, 5, and then we've got 12. And remember the rule for multiplying. We add up how many uh, decimal places there are and what we're multiplying. So the answer is 12.56, and don't forget the units, 12.56 centimeters would be the circumference around. So if you had a circle with the radius of um, 2 centimeters, that circumference of that circle would be 12.56 centimeters. Okay, one more type of example. Okay, example, we have a um, circle with a uh, uh, this time we're going to be given the circumference. Okay? So the circumference is going to be equal to, um, let's pick a number here, let's see if this one works. It might not work out exactly evenly, but that's okay. We'll say that there's a circumference of 15 point, um, uh, seven. Okay. 15.7 centimeters around the circle. And we are asked to find ooh, the radius. Okay, well, again, we don't have a formula that relates the two, but we do have a formula that relates circumference to diameter. And diameter um, can be used to figure out the radius, right? 
diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. So our steps are going to be to solve for the diameter first. Once we know that, we can use the second equation to come up with the radius. So um, we are going to um, try to get this diameter on its own. Okay? Right now, the diameter is being multiplied by pi. So in order to get rid of um, that pi, to undo that operation, we are going to divide by pi. When we divide by pi, pi divided by pi is simply 1, so we can cross it out. But when we divide one side by pi, we also must divide the other side by pi because it's an equal sign and we got to keep things equal. So we have um, diameter is now equal to the circumference divided by pi. So I'm going to fill in what I know. The circumference was 15.7 centimeters and we're dividing by the value of 3.14. Okay, so we'll see if we remember how to do some long uh, division here, see if we can figure that out. Okay. Um, 15.7 divided by 3.14. We don't like dividing decimals, so we're going to move these decimals over. Okay, so instead we've got 314 here and 1570 divided by 314. Okay, so uh, we're going to try out a number. Why don't we try um, five times? Does 314 go into this? Uh, 1575 times. Let's see about that. And we're multiplying here. Um, we're going to go 7. Oh, look at that. Works out perfectly. Okay, so it's exactly 5 times. Okay, so that means that the diameter must equal 5 centimeters. Now, Quickly, before we say that that's our final answer, we get to look back at the original question. We're asked to find the radius. So we're going to go back over um, to get that out of the way here. We're going to go back over to this formula and we're going to plug in what we know here. We've got 5 centimeters, it's diameter, so 2 times something is equal to 5 centimeters, or another way of putting that is dividing both sides by 2 r is equal to 5 divided by 2, we know that's 2.5 centimeters, that would be the value of r. Okay, so we can use the formula either way. Hope that is helpful. Made with DoodleCast Pro.